Welcome back to Main Street Living. We hope you're relaxing at home just like we are. <laughs> yeah, you actually kind of caught me slipping there for a second. I was, <laughs> oh, yeah. Not you, Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, just trying to hang in there. <laughs> like, like what do we do else? next? <laughs> So, because we have all this free time, a lot of people are becoming content creators more than usual from home, making YouTube channels, making TikToks. And those of us who are shooting video with our phones might be interested in this next package. We'll be talking to Caleb Kinslow. Let's talk tech. Traditional 360 cameras are relatively expensive. But what if you had those same features in a smartphone? For only $49.99, the Panel Clip 360 turns your phone into a full 360 degree camera. After downloading the free app, attach Panel Clip to your phone, which instantly aligns its super wide angle lenses with the phone's front and rear cameras. The app includes things you would expect in a camera software, such as filters, stickers, and the ability to reframe shots for the perfect angle. It's also worth noting there are gyro and VR modes included as well. Naturally, it's really easy saving photos to your album or publishing directly to your social media accounts. Although it doesn't play video, it makes up for it by including nine different animation modes to give your photos a more dynamic feel and showcase the entire image. Panel Clip 360 is currently available for iPhone models six through 10 with an Android version currently on the way. One small downside. The device will not fit on phone cases over 0.8 millimeters, which is unfortunately a lot smaller than most strong protective cases. Overall, for the price alone, there isn't much to complain about with Panel Clip 360. I definitely recommend getting your hands on one of these. All right, how cool is that? I'll have to do that. Yeah, it seems like something that would be fun. <laughs> I just don't know if my phone could take it. We're getting yeah. more content than usual. Some of the content we don't even want, but we're getting it. So Right, right. We're getting so much. And speaking of that, the bandwidth, I mean, that's something that can be an issue for many people because everybody right now is working from home. We're all using so much bandwidth. Absolutely, uh, uh, Cheryl. And I mean, just like that bit itself or, or that last clip was like picture perfect technology that I would want to use. But Fortunately for you guys, because I don't have the bandwidth, Sarah Evans is back with us to give us some tips to help us expand our bandwidth. Let's see what she has for us. What can impact bandwidth that you might not be aware of? Here are a few of the biggies. Number one, video. If you're doing lots of Zooms, Google Meets, Google Hangouts, start to think about what meetings actually require video versus audio. That eats up a lot of bandwidth. If you have a gamer in the household, have them wait to do big software updates Till off peak hours. If you have in home video monitoring like pet cams, go ahead and shut those off if you're already going to be home. You don't need to waste the bandwidth on that. If you're a Cox Panoramic Wi Fi customer like I am, here is a sneaky mom trick. You can actually pause other devices that your kids might be using to ensure you have the most bandwidth during key times like video conference calls. And just simply take stock of the devices in your home. Find out what you actually need versus what you don't. And if you do all that and still are experiencing lag times, call your internet service provider and get the plan that works best for you. All right, well, that's some interesting information there. Always very important, right guys? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know if this phone can handle it, but I'm gonna do my best. What kind change. of phone do you have? Uh, it's an iPhone uh, uh, first generation. I'm joking. For, well, <laughs> no, like, what? For, that would probably be like a flip phone or something, wouldn't it? <laughs> Basically, yeah. No, it's an eight, but I just refuse to upgrade until everything slows down for me. So. Well, you know what? I don't blame you because I just upgraded to the face um, activation thing, and it yeah. doesn't work when you're wearing one of these. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing a mask and I was trying, and of course, it wouldn't recognize my face. And I'm going, I miss the finger, the fingerprint that opens the phone. Mm. I, know. I don't know. What do you think about that, Danielle? Who, who knows what they're doing with all those pictures of our faces? I don't like that the phone's always listening. I don't like that it's always watching me. There's times that they've... Yeah. It, it creeps me out. I, I really agree. So, Quincy, maybe we should stick with that, that iPhone 8 there. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'd I think I'd be all right. I mean, bandwidth-wise, uh, <laughs> I can't add anything else to this phone. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, guys. Well, we have a lot more ahead here on Main Street Living. And first, think about this. If you're a high school senior and you're looking to get recruited for a college, how is the pandemic affecting these students? We'll have that story coming up. But first, take a look at this TikTok video if you're bored and maybe looking for something fun to do at home. Hmm. 